goal for this was to make a really sick, epic shaving scene with uh, all my dope B-roll skills. Let me know if I've succeeded. All right, here goes nothing. Oh yeah, that's so much better. See, if you're like me, you've probably got a lot of preview bestent uh, peach fuzz on your upper lip. Some people can rock it, I can't. Step one, unbox the Dollar Shave Club box. Step two, shave the face. Step three, capture dramatic shaving scene. Now there's only one more step to do before I go fishing. All right, the final step. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> well, in case you couldn't tell, today's not one of those ordinary videos. Uh, matter of fact, today's video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. Huge shout out to them for sponsoring this channel and helping me out once again to produce some dope videos for you guys. In case you aren't familiar with Dollar Shave Club, Dollar Shave Club is the affordable solution to taking care of your manly or not so manly facial hair. Dollar Shave Club is as simple as ordering your box online, receiving your box at your front doorstep, take the razor, start shaving. It is an easy alternative to dodging all those crusty razors and overpriced razors out there. Dollar Shave Club isn't just razors. They're starting to get into the whole grooming side of things as well. That's why I received this beautiful small bottle of Amber Lavender Body Wash in my box this month. Do you know what Amber Lavender Body Wash smells like? It smells like heaven. See, the main problem I have is going out, wasting time that I should be spending editing, fishing, or filming and doing a bunch of shopping for razors that I don't necessarily want in the first place. So right now for a limited time, new members can get this box right here for $5. <laughs> I literally got hair in my mouth. So some of the things I got in this month's Dollar Shave Club box was a trial size of my favorite little shave butter. I got some body wash and some one white Charlie butt wipes. These one white Charlies, they got a little bit of aloe vera in them. Nothing like a little natural plant in your butt crack. And of course, with all that, you get your executive razor, plus you get locked and loaded with a full cassette of cartridges. So if you were to order this box right now, from then on out, all you have to do is spend a small amount every month to get some more razors. So you're not, uh, you're not low on quality razors for your executive handle, which, now it smells like shave butter. Hey, next, buddy. I don't think Dino really wanted to be shaved. I didn't really plan on making a video today, but I thought to myself, I was like, look, I'm back home, I'm up north, the weather is insane, and I'm not gonna get this lucky next time I come up here. So what I've decided to do is I've got the rods in the trunk. There they are, I'll show you what I'm throwing here in a bit. But I woke up this morning, it was 95 degrees. 95 degrees, it is almost October here in Northern Illinois, and I'm sitting inside editing and <laughs> shaving my face. So I've made the executive decision to go out one of my favorite little river spots here in, uh, in the suburbs, in the burbs of Illinois, and I'm gonna try to catch some smallmouth. Small, <laughs> smallmouth don't necessarily love the heat, especially up here, but, but I'm thinking once this sun sets, and I tie on some sort of popper, I'll be able to get at least one to bite. I've got the lucky mustache on right now, so hopefully that'll get the uh, small mouth charged up. All right, I'm real quick gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be throwing. So this is what I've got going on the casting side of things. I've got a little spook, a tiny little chartreuse spook, casting reel with 40 pound test. This is with the favorite six stick, the 7.2 rod. Not the best top water rod, but fairly decent. And then the other rod I'm gonna bring is this guy right here. This right here is one of the higher end favorites. I've got a, what the heck is this? I'm drawing a blank. This is the favorite jackhammer spinning reel. And on that, I've got the favorite Summit, which is like one of the lightest rods in the world. And I'm gonna throw a little tiny swim bait on that. You know, the past few times I've fished here, I've had decent luck, but there's been a few times where I've come out here, especially like right before sunset, and I've caught some good smallmouth. I'm not gonna go out there and catch four pounds of smallmouth. That's not gonna happen. Well, I just shut my keys in the trunk. So I'm thinking small bait right before sunset, throw that little deal in some current, let the current take the bait, and maybe possibly catch a nice small jaw. 
There is so much hair that it's getting in my mouth. It's disgust. It's disgusting. Okay. So just so we're clear, guys, I haven't fished this place in oh I don't know, maybe a year and a half, maybe two years at the very most. It's been a while. We're both gonna be figuring out this place together here. The water is ripping pretty good. Let's see if they'll lead a top water. I think they'll lead a top water. Maybe we'll just have to see. Well, this is not sketchy at all. Come on, Smallies, eat it. Eat that popper. Eat that pooper. Oh, I got one. Come on, come on, Smalley. No, he came off. No, no, oh no. Little guy, he's about 10 inches, but still it was a freaking small mouth. That was the fish. Please not let that be my only chance for today. Please not let that be my only bite. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. I'm gonna try a spot across the way, see if they're over there. I'm gonna go fish that other side, that, that other side of the river. The one that's directly that way. I don't know what I think anymore. I think maybe that was my really good chance to catch a smallmouth and I fricked it up. Quite a cluster. Don't step on that. Yep. Well, 0 for 1. <laughs> my best bet of getting a smallmouth right now is if I just fish bass, fish the good spots and fish them quickly because I don't have much time. And I really want to catch a smallmouth. Hey, look who it is. Hello? Yo, is it north or south? South. Below or above it? It's below, well, I mean, it, it, you're going up river. So that would be, that's not even, that's not south or north, it's west. Is it that spot you always fish that you burned out? Yeah. Okay, I just lost one. I don't know how hot it's gonna be, but I hooked one and it popped off. You know how it is, same old, same old. Lots of carp too, so if you wanna bring your corn, well, that or you can just get a nice treble and catch them the old fashioned way. All right. I'll, I'll get there eventually. Okay, I'm gonna get to popping. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, what the hell was that? That had to be a carp. Oh my gosh, Smalley, Smalley. Oh, that was a small mouth. I looked down for a second and my popper's like in the air. What happened? Damn, there's a ton of bait on this ripple side. Oh, he missed it. How in the freaking world? Oh my God, he ate it again. Dude. That is a pissed off smallmouth. I don't think he's too big, but it's a smallie nonetheless. Oh, dude, that's not a smallmouth. That's not a small fish. I gotta start working this bait slow. I can't work it fast. They like it slow. Uh, not yet. Working on it. What's your name? Angel. Angel, nice to meet you, dude. How's it going? It is? Well, my name's John, yeah. John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you get? Oh, see that? Oh, what do you guys yeah. use? Yeah, a little smallmouth. You guys using like liver or cut date or what? Oh, Crawfish. They're real fish and most fish in disguise. No, no, it's real. Real? No, I'm kidding. No, no, I'm not using it for disguise. I just, I like, yeah, just for fun, you know? Yeah, I'm filming right now. Yeah. You cool with being on video? Yeah. Awesome. So you're telling me I need to try catfish down here, yeah. huh? Good catfish. Damn. Are you throwing a musky bait? What are you throwing? Oh my God, Chris. Uh. Well, dang. The GoPro battery, that thing right there just died on me and I left all my stuff in the car. As I was saying earlier, I wanted to pack light, but I kind of forgot that means that I wasn't gonna bring any extra batteries. So I gotta go back to the car. Actually, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but Chris was across the way. He was the guy that I was yelling at. Chris decided to join me. He's gonna fish for a bit. He's on this giant muscular and actually just got blown up. I've missed about five fish with this little popper. I don't think they're huge, but I don't really care, I just want to catch a smallmouth. The other thing I just realized too is some kid just walked up to me who watches my videos and he was probably thinking I'm either A, Marco Grouch or B, Pablo Escobar. Either way, I wish I actually had this. I wish this mustache was real. Look at, just look at that. It's so much nicer than my, my peach fuzz mustache. Okay, well, I guess Chris actually had a muskie. The fish that he was playing with over there was hooked for a bit. It popped off and the rest is history. So I'm gonna hop in the car that one right there, that car right there, in case you were curious. And then head on over that way. Gonna meet Chris and we're gonna try one more spot. Sun's dropping, so we gotta hurry up. I need to catch a small jaw before the day's done. And then I like, and then it hit again, and it just kind of swiped it and I hooked it, and its back came out of the- You know it's gonna be fun? Bringing over a fish over this. Oh my goodness. Oh. Are you serious, Chris? Hit me with a bass. 
You sure you didn't run over a cart back? No, he ate it. What the heck? Fuck. You were on a, oh, great. Frosted flakes. Sure guys, let's, oh my God. I got an idea guys. Let's make the, the, the flood bar out of carpet so that when, you've gotta be, mother trucker. Let's make this a uh, flood block uh, out of fabric. So when anglers come here, they just get their hooks caught repeatedly. Oh, we're good. A little over dramatic there, but hey, it's frustrating. Oh, did you see that? Little smally. It was a miniature mount. Oh no! Oh, it's, no! No, Chris, you gotta be kidding me. That was a nice one. You're right. That was such a nice. One. Oh, it's game time. It's on now, fish. You wanna play hardball? We'll play hardball. I think they should just rename Smallmouth to Turdmouth. But I am shocked that I'm getting this many bites. And I'm really shocked that you actually had a muskie on. That's pretty, um, that doesn't happen. Carp or 10 pound smallmouth, either or. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Woo, it's a large mouth. It's a large you gotta be kidding me. It's a freaking large mouth. It's not that, look at his belly. I've never caught, I'm, yeah, it's a fat fish. I've never caught a large mouth out of here. Leave it to me to come out here to catch Small mouth. Then I catch a large mouth. This is my first ever large mouth out of the Fox River. I only, only ever catch smallies out of here. But you know what? That right there feels so freaking good. I'm gonna kiss his belly, I'm so happy. Alrighty. Releasing the mustache bass back in the Fox. Is he gonna bump my popper? He's right behind that little thing. Rock. I know, I think that's it. You I got him. I got him, Chris. I got him. Oh, he's in the stick. I got him. Chris on my fish. I just released. Is that a small? That's another largemouth. Wow. Okay, so this is my second ever Fox River largemouth. I, I guess we're on a little bit of a trend here. Um, I immediately just put my fish back, took one cast. Boom. Tanker. Absolute tanker on. That's what it's all about though, guys. You just gotta, you gotta keep throwing, keep casting. In all seriousness, what Chris and I are doing right now, well, first Chris is fishing for muskie, but what I'm doing right now is I'm in this river. I'm looking for any sort of like heavy ripples. What that tells me is there's like a, a boulder or a piece of brush or something in the water that's creating like a break in the current that's kind of allowing there to be some slack water behind whatever that thing is, whether it's like a big rock or a log. And those large mouth or small mouth will put themselves right behind there. So what I'm doing, is I'm throwing that little popper up river, working it back down and trying to get it as close to those ripples as possible. I can't see what's down in the water, like I can't see the boulders, but the ripples are telling me what's down there. I don't know if you can really see, but notice how like there's, there's like a ripple right there. That's a rock. There's probably a rock right there too. And fish will sit right behind that and kind of poke out and grab bait. It's like an easy ambush point. It's like, you know, like a lion. A lion doesn't hunt for prey out in the open prairie, it, it'll kind of crouch down or position itself behind a bush or hide in, around the tree. Wow, did you see that? Um, yeah, bass and other predator fish are the same way. So that's what I'm kind of doing right now. All my bites have come right behind some current, some ripples. Just a little quick tip for you guys. I know you like quick tips. I love quick tips. Quick tips make me a better angler. Yeah, I'm just gonna work up to here and then I'm, I'm done. We can go find your first muskie. No river smallmouth today, guys. No river smallies today. What a big old bummer. Where do we go from here with our lives? You lost a giant muskie. I lost a, a good solid dozen smallmouth. Like no joke, we both you got hammered. You want to get in and I can just keep driving it. See this hill right here? I can just keep driving it. And if I go fast enough, we you'll might have be able to, to land in the You'll probably have river. to go about 100 yards back. Do you like the idea though? Like I put you see where I'm going? No, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll put a brick on the gas pedal. We'll both sit on the hood. <laughs> what do you seriously want to do here? Do you want to try for that muskie one more time or? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We're going to try for Chris's muskie. Apparently when you hook a fish, it comes back and eats the second time. Unless that fish has a little brother or a bigger brother. Okay. Well, let's go back and check it out. I'll meet you over there. <laughs> smells like bass. <laughs> Not even kidding. Oh boy. End of the day report for you guys. Caught two large <laughs> I caught two largemouth. Chris decided to show up. He caught um, no largemouth and no smallmouth, but missed a nice muskie. Everything lined up. I just couldn't really 
yield any prominent results. Yeah, that's like some, some good vocabulary there. I'm, uh, I'm saying goodbye to the river. Goodbye, river. And I'm gonna go meet up with Chris. He's gonna try for that muskie one more time. I think this is the part of the video in which I sign out and thank you all so much for tuning in and watching. I'm gonna pull in this lot real quick, watch Chris miserably fail at catching this muskie. No, I'm just kidding. Just just kidding, Chris, just kidding. And uh, probably gonna head on home, pop in a pizza, watch some Netflix, and call it a night. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate the views. I hope you guys are catching lots of fish during this fall, summer transition. I will catch you guys next time on the next video. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.